On this edition, we're at Strade Bianche, a race many see as the sixth monument. It is a special race because it has really steep climbs and not on tarmac, so that's not usual. It's in a really beautiful area and the race is quite new for us. Ellen Noble discusses her new team and equality in cycling. Trek Factory Racing was the best option for me just because it seemed like the absolute perfect fit. I've dreamt of riding for this exact team since I was a kid. But before all of that, Frenchman Pierre Roland on his own move and ambitions for the 2019 season. Vital Concept B&B Hotels have a new rider for 2019. With ambitions including a possible Tour de France wildcard, Pierre Roland is at the heart of the French Pro Continental team's plans. J'ai été séduit par le projet de, de Jérôme, de Jérôme Pinault, et voilà, il y a aussi, euh, aussi le fait que, que Jérôme était séduit par, par mon, mon duo avec Cyril Gauthier, qui est, qui est l'un de mes meilleurs amis. Voilà, l'ensemble du projet me plaisait énormément, et le rôle qu'on me donnait était, était l'un des, ouais, des rôles les plus excitants qui, qui m'étaient proposés. Unfortunately, Roland suffered a wrist fracture at the Drome Classic, forcing him out of Paris-Nice, where he'd hoped to compete for stage wins. A characteristic the 32-year-old has been known for throughout his career. My victory on the Giro in 2017 has really been a moment for me because it's a bit of my three years at Canandal and EF. It was a lot of malchance. He lifts his bike aloft in celebration. Cannondale, of course, the main sponsor and the provider of the bike. This means an awful lot to this team. They had a two-year gap. Now they've got a, a grand tour win to add to their tally. It looks like the dam has finally burst. Toujours capable de faire des, des top 10 sur, sur les grands tours ou sur des courses d'une semaine difficiles comme le Dauphiné. Mais, mais c'est pas quelque chose, c'est pas forcément quelque chose où je prends énormément de plaisir que, que de m'accrocher jusqu'à peu plus et, et au final de terminer 7e ou 8e d'une course. Je préfère mettre peut-être ces ambitions-là de côté et essayer de, de vraiment aller chercher euh, bah, des victoires. Et puis cette émotion qu'on a quand on franchit la ligne, elle est tellement plus, plus belle, plus forte que de terminer 7e ou 6e d'un Dauphiné ou d'un Tour de France, même si c'est une performance euh, euh, énorme. But from a point of view, emotional and sensation, I prefer 100 times to win an etape than to terminate 6th in a grand tour. If there is one etape of the mountain to win in his career, it's the Alpe d'Huez or maybe the Mont Ventoux. But it was a moment of magic. When I crossed the line, I thought it was going to happen to me. At 200 meters of the line, I thought it was going to happen to me. It's not possible. I was going to pass plein de fois à côté sur le Dauphiné ou sur des Paris-Nice de faire deuxième, troisième étape, mais là c'était le Tour de France. Gagner un maillot distinctif sur, sur le Tour c'est quelque chose de grand parce que il n'y a que quatre maillots euh, distribués sur les Champs Élysées et euh, voilà le, le, le maillot blanc, l'Arc de Triomphe c'est vraiment une, une récompense euh, magique quand on se retourne et qu'on est là et, C'est un rêve d'enfant au final et euh, j'espère qu'une chose c'est retourner un jour sur ce podium. Donc pas avec le maillot blanc parce que c'est plus possible mais voilà un jour euh, peut-être avec le maillot à poids ou quelque chose d'autre. Mais euh, c'est un rêve de, de me retourner de nouveau derrière moi et de regarder l'arc de triomphe. Roland's aggressive riding in search of stage wins, often to little or no avail, has seen his profile explode on social media, with the popular Attack de Pierre Roland craze receiving viral attention. But what does the former EF Education First Drapac squad member think of all that social media hype? Au début, ça m'a ça m'a fait rire plus ou moins, mais maintenant ça me fait vraiment rigoler et c'est vrai que c'est devenu C'est devenu quelque chose d'assez d'assez récurrent. C'est vrai que je suis peut-être un coureur un peu plus agressif que, que la moyenne, mais voilà, 
ça me dérange pas et ça me fait, ça me fait assez rigoler. Et puis maintenant, les, les supporters sur le bord de la route euh, voilà, aussi, euh, aussi poussent ces, ces noms-là. Et c'est vrai que c'est assez, assez marrant et puis c'est bien d'être supporté quoi qu'il arrive. Ma préférée, je pense, c'est... Je sais plus, mais je pense que c'était lors d'un match de foot ou le... Je sais plus trop, tu sais toi ou... <rire>
known or whatever, but I feel so fortunate just to have a platform to be able to talk about the things that matter to me so much. I have a lot of love to give and I have a lot of things that I feel that I think other people connect with and that make other people feel less alone in what they're doing. So having the opportunity to share that and have people that listen and care and take it in, it's like, it's still hard to believe, but I'm, I'm so thankful for every day that I get to do this. <laughs>
I love riding in, on gravel, so we're excited for some gravel action. The key sector is Monte Sante Maria. Uh, it's one of the last in the last part of the race because it's really long, almost 11 k's, and also, I mean, uh, with a great part in climb. There is uh, this sector of Monte Sante Maria has also been named Cancellara uh, because uh, Fabian won three times uh, the Strade Bianche, and so if you win uh, three times this race there is the tradition to give a name of the one of the sector of gravel to the rider who did so far only Fabian did yeah in 2016 uh, was something crazy something crazy because on the car I had Mr. Zanetti the, the owner of Segafredo and was his first race and of, of course when you have Fabian on the race the strategy is not so difficult and also the results was, uh, we can say, quite sure. So that was something amazing and uh, yeah, uh, the reaction for everybody was, is different, but I, I was crying a bit because it was a surprise also because when Radio Tour say Cancellara won, oh that's not possible, but <laughs> at the end it was like that and uh, yeah, of course we were happy. But I believe Fabian was more happy. We also can remember that in the past, Alejandro Valverde uh, did the podium, two podium, if I'm not wrong, and once he arrived, the fourth. So it's a race really, really open. Roubaix is, can be considered for specialists, but also Tour of Flanders. It's really not easy that uh, a potential Grand Tour winner can win Tour of Flanders. I think you still need to, to know how to handle the bike. I think it's still one of the keys. And of course it's all about condition. Because uh, I think if, if I look the power file, uh, the power output file, it's still I think the, one of the hardest races of the season. So I think if uh, the shape is good, if you are in the good condition, then uh, you get uh, definitely deep in the fun. Siena <laughs> is a fantastic city, this uh, finish. It makes the best rider win. I believe it's a, it's a super finish. You know that finish is coming and that climb is coming, so it's um, nice and hard at the same time. There's no doubt about the winner, Annemiek van Vleuten from Mitchelton Scott. She can't believe it. Wonderful scenes. Annemiek van Vluten wins Strade Bianchi for the first time in her career. And that is a very, very special ride. That feeling is crazy. And, you know, the people coming there to, to see the finish, you know, oh, it's, yeah, it is one of my favorite finishes. A lot of people is convinced that Strade Bianche uh, can be the sixth monument of cycling and uh, well if we can consider only the love the the feelings of the rider uh, Strade Bianche can already be considered the sixth monument
maybe it's a bit early to, to name it the monument, so um, just a really nice race. I think that uh, in some years it deserves it because you, you can even see it like uh, how prestigious it gets in between the riders and the teams. Uh, more and more riders make it as a main goal of the season or as, for, as at least the first goal of the season. Uh, so I think it says a lot about the importance of the race. Julian Alaphilippe is going to rise to a famous victory. Right handed into the sunshine. That's how you get it done! Yeah, I think Srebrenica could be the, the sixth monument. Yeah, and I'm happy to be the only Italian who won <laughs> the sixth monument. That's it for this edition, but please join us next time. Until then, keep up to date with us on social media.